Uh, hello, good morning. Today we'll try to understand the basic concepts of integration, especially um, using the properties of uh, inter definite integrals uh, from a to b f of x dx, the upper limit b and lower limit a, then we can write a to b f of a plus b minus x. So we can solve these types of problem. Actually, there are four definite uh, integral problems. Uh, all kinds of uh, problems are same. Now we'll try to solve uh, 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 by using these properties. And this is the shortcut method. Uh, Not just uh, using the properties, uh, same properties from A to B, F of X equals to, um, this equals to can be written as, uh, the sum of f of sum of the lower limits and upper limit a plus b minus variable x. So just using this formula, we can solve uh, the definite problem, definite integrals. First, first problem is 0 to 5 by 2, 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power n x dx. So this is the first problem to we are trying to uh, solve by using this properties. So i equals to 0 to pi by let i equals to 0 to pi by 2 1 divided by 1 plus 10 to the power n x dx. Now this this can be written as by using the same properties 0 to pi by 2, 1 by 1 plus 10 to the power n, this will be 0 plus pi by 2 minus x. This means pi by 2 minus x dx. This equals to 0 to pi by 2, 1 divided by 1 plus, this is the first quadrant. So 10 will become, or for odd, right angle, we can transform 10 to cot to the power n x, and this is the first quadrant dx. But this can be written as 0 to pi by 2, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 10, okay, 1 by 10 to the power nx dx. So this can be written as i equals to 0 to pi by 2. And after taking LCM, we get 10 to the power nx 1 plus 10 to the power nx. This is equation number one, and this is another equation number two we get. Now adding one and two, we get twice i equals to, what will be? Just adding zero to pi by two, one plus, 10 to the power nx divided by 1 plus 10 to the power nx dx. So this equals to 0 to 5 by 2 equal to 1 into dx. That means only x. So 0 to 5 by 2. This equals to only 5 by 2. Hence, i equals to 5 by 4. So this is the actually our required result. Just adding equation one and two, we get our required definite integrals. Now, uh, similarly, second part of the first integral, definite integral, now one divided by one plus cot to the power nx dx, zero to pi by two limit. Now let i equals to zero to pi by two, one by one plus cos to the power nx dx. So just 
using these properties we get one plus four to the power n pi by two now cot will become the first quadrant for odd right angle we can transform to cot to 10 okay then 10 to the power n x but this 10 can be written as we can write uh, one by cot okay so using the one by cot one by cot 10 means what one by cot to the power n x one by cot to the power n x now taking lcm this will become cot to the power n x cot to the power n x okay so now adding equation one and two we get what we get only one plus cot to the power n x cot to the power n x we get the same result i equals to pi by two. and this is the proof of first problem Now, uh, similarly, uh, the second problem, second definite integral. So this will, this is the zero to pi by two, 10 to the power n x divided by one plus 10 to the power n x dx. Now let us consider i equals to zero to pi by two, 10 to the power n x divided by one plus 10 to the power n x dx. Now using the properties, the sum of the upper limit and lower limit minus x, x become this one a plus b minus x so zero plus pi by two minus x that means zero pi by two minus x 10 become cot because uh, for the first quadrant and odd right angle so cot and this also cot but cot can become one by ten and one by ten just taking lcm in the denominator then we get only one plus ten to the power nx now just adding we get the same one we get the same result as previous pre example so this is the our result now similarly we can uh, prove the second part of the problem two problem number two second uh, second part of the problem number two uh, this is the actually uh, in the place of tan we have to use cot right we have to use cot that means this will be this is the second part of problem two cot to the power n and this also cot to the power n but cot to the power n same process okay same cot to the power n and this will be cot and this also cot to the power n now first quadrant and for odd right angles this cot become what 10 okay 10 this also 10 to the power nx now 10 means what 1 by cot okay cot to the power nx and this also 1 by cot to the power nx right so similarly uh, from here after taking lcm in the denominator we get one divided by cot to the power nx okay now adding we get adding equation one and two we get cot to the power nx and also cot to the power nx dx then same i equals to pi by four that means the required definite integral i will be pi by four similarly we can prove the result three okay Three will be three will be like this. Problem three with sine sine cos sine to the power n n x divided by sine to the power n x plus cos to the power n x dx. Now let us consider this equals to i, 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2. So 0 to pi by 2, we get sine to the power nx divided by sine to the power nx plus cos to the power nx. Now using the same property, we get 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power n and angle will be transformed to 
sum of the upper limit and lower limit that means pi by 2 minus x so sign in the denominator sign to the power n pi by 2 minus x plus cos to the power n pi by 2 minus x okay now sign transform to mm. cos due to odd right angle okay odd right angle and it is in first quadrant so positive now so cos to the power n x and this will become also cos and this also become sine dx so this is equation number one therefore i equals to this and this is also equation number two now adding equation one and two we can write adding equation 1 and 2 we get twice i equals to what will be just pi by 2 sine to the power n x plus cos to the power n x divided by sine to the power n x plus cos to the power n x dx that means twice i equals to 0 to pi by 2 1 dx or twice i equals to only x 0 to pi by 2 this is y i equals to and this means what pi by 2 so i equals to pi by 4 so for the same definite integral similar definite integral uh, 3 we get the same result now we can uh, we can find the second part of the same number 3 this will be what cos to the power nx and this will be cos to the power nx and this will be sine to the power n. Similarly, we can find the same result. Okay. So cos to the power nx and this also cos to the power nx and this will be sine to the power nx. Now just changing the angle by using the properties, same properties. Okay. Cos to the power nx and this will be sine to the power nx so we it will become sine to the power nx because sine transform to cos due to odd right angle and this is in first quadrant so it will be positive now sine to the power n and this will be cos to the power n similarly we can add adding equation one and two we get the same result okay same result similarly we can prove the problem number four and it is left for you, we can find the integral, okay? So by using this property, we can uh, solve many hundreds problem like this, okay? Hundreds problem like this. So, so if you, uh, if we, if, if we can try, our home at our home we can uh, solve many problem like this okay thanks to everybody best wishes for you